Hello, and welcome to this week's Wednesday webinar given by Molly Ashaw. This week's webinar is about online tools for differentiating reading levels of current events or nonfiction web articles. This slideshow can be found at bit.ly backslash uppercase w w underscore uppercase r e a d so it's wednesday webinar underscore read and it is case sensitive but you'll be able to find it there and then you'll have the links to the online products that i'm going to show you all right these online tools there's others out there these are just um, five of my favorites, and they're all free. Some of them have a paid part, but what I'll be showing you and what I've found very useful is just the free parts of the tools. And so I will just go down through them and kind of talk about them and show you what you can do with them. We will start with Rewordify. All right, I already have it pulled up here. So you can create a free account. I'm already logged in. And with this, there's a lot you can do. I'm just gonna show you some of the basic stuff. And you can just cut and paste text and it will simplify it. So I went online and found an online history book and it comes from history, ushistory.org. I'm just gonna pick one of these and let's look at, um, I don't know, the Townshend Acts. Oops, I guess I clicked maybe the Boston Patriots. We'll see what comes up. All right, it was the Boston Patriots. So if I have a student and they're reading this text and it's too hard for them, it could be text from an article, it could be text anywhere you can find printed text, you can do this. So I just highlight it and I'll stop right there and I'll copy it. I'll go back to my rewordify, paste it in and tell it to rewordify the text. And so what it does is it takes that text and where it highlights it's changed something. So we should have read a little bit before so you can see. So here's the original text. And it says, the American Revolution was not simply a series of impersonal events. Men and women made fateful, often difficult decisions that led to the great clash. So if we go back and they've reworded that, saying the American Revolution was not simply a series of emotionally cool and not friendly events. Men and women worked, made unlucky, often hard decisions that led to great fights or disagreements. So it shows how it's changed and simplified that text. Pretty basic. Um, there are some learning activities in with it. Kids can create their own accounts. Um, and then if I go back here to home, there's ways that once they're logged in, they can keep track of what they've read um, and its difficulty level and so forth. I'll come down here. Um, but basically, that's just what I was, I was wanting to show you. It's a great way to quickly translate that text to help students understand it. It's probably the most basic of them. That's why I started with this one. All right, the next one is New Zeela, and I have it pulled up here. So we'll just go to it. Once again, I created a free account. It does have a pro version, but what I'm going to show you, you don't need the pro version for. And so I'm going to go to the library and it has all these different topics. I'm gonna to stick with US history. It's on my mind today. All right, as it's coming up here, um, it has different articles. I'm gonna look at this article, How Presidential Assassinations Changed US Politics. So I'm gonna click on it.
All right, so here's the original article. Um, it gives you a word count. The text level is six. Well, right up here, if you look, it has a 950 lexile level. And you don't necessarily have to know your students' lexile levels, but if this article is too difficult for them, four U.S. presidents have been murdered while in office, all brought down by gunfire, reforms, and a new political direction followed each of these presidential assassinations. And that's going to be a little bit difficult. If you look up here, you can change that lexile level. So I'm going to change it down to the 540 lexile level. Now we're at 526 word count. Come down here and I look at it. Four U.S. presidents have been murdered while in office. All were killed by gunfire. What followed their deaths changed American history. So it really brings it down. A lot of times they'll take out um, big adjectives or, or words that add meaning but don't necessarily have to be there to get the understanding of the article. So it's a great way you can um, then print them. Um, what I like about this is kids don't have to know that you um, have changed up the levels if that's something that you're wanting to them to do. If you're going to print a copy of this, you can print each of them. They'll look the same. They'll have the pictures. They'll just, the actual text will be different. And kids don't um, even know that they're getting um, something different than the other kids. So another great way, you can also create assignments from it. I can add, um, create an assignment to go with this and then um, have them assign it. So I like this one, just being able to change it up quickly on the flash like that. You can search for news articles. I like that they have a huge library of um, things already there that I can look up pertaining to what, what I'm studying. Next one is the Smithsonian Tween Tribune. And I thought I was already signed in. Let's see if I can. Get signed back in. All right, so here's something I can create a classroom. It works with Google Classroom. Um, and I can assign things that way. I'm just going to go back to the home page right now. <clears throat> All right, so you can see you can find articles um, for all grade levels. You can find them in Spanish. And once again here, it's the ability to change up that reading level of an article. The same article, kids can get the same information. It's just at <clears throat> different reading levels. This one also, some of them have quizzes made that the students can take. Also, um, if you are assigning them, through Google Classroom, you can assign um, students different levels, Lexile levels to read. Um, so another way to just um, make it easier for your students that have difficulty with reading levels. So I can assign the story. I can start off taking the quiz. Here it is. It shows me the Lexile level it is. I can change that up. Um, even even if you give it to kids at one level and, and they're feeling maybe they're not getting it, um, you can switch it over to a different level. Next one is ReadWorks. What I like about these next two, they really add one more level of um, assistance or accommodation for students, and that is that it can read to them. All right, so I am logged in as the teacher, and I can assign things digitally. I can print it out, or I can use it through projection, which is really nice. So here are the main articles, or the main um, ways I can find articles. I'm going to stay with social studies. I can pick a grade level, do more searching that way, but let's just look at this Native American conflicts one. All right, so right now it is for ninth and 10th grade level, 554 words, 1340 Lexile level, it's nonfiction, the vocab, so here's some information here. Like I said, what I like about this is it brings this um, added accommodation of it will read the article to the kids. Prior to European settlement in North America, Native American long. tribes populated specific areas of the continent. It's not the most exciting, um, but it, it's there. 
from this. There, some of them have questions made. I can assign this. I think I set up, um, so this is through Google Classroom. I can assign it that way. I could also just get the, um, the link and give it to kids if I'm doing it that way. By email, I can share it that way. If I was going to print it, it um, I can print with answers without or lines for kids to write on, but it takes out some of that advertisement around the edges. If I'm going to project, it takes it away, blows it up. It's all ready for projection. So I like those options too, but I really like the option to be able to read it or have kids read, um, listen to it. That is readingworks.org. And the last one, Common Lit, is probably becoming my favorite. So I um, am logged in. I was at my library and I already found an article that I clicked on, but I want to show you here that it has um, things from third through 12th grade. So you can browse by grade level, you can browse by topic. I just um, picked a spooky story. So that was one of the first things they had there, a spooky story. What I like about Common Lit, there's so much I can do. Once again, I can listen to it and listen to this. This gal reads much better. In this amusing short story, a boy believes he hears a ghost in his house. As you read, take notes on how the author develops the humor in this short story. So I think it reads a little bit better, um, and it highlights the words as it reads, so you can keep track and watch it as it goes. Another accommodation um, that kids might need. I can download as a PDF. I can assign it through Google Classroom again. Kids, though, have the option of highlighting text, looking up words, defining them. Um, a lot of great options over here. Has some guiding questions. There is a little assessment, a quiz at the end. You can do some discussion with it. Um, by far, one of the most elaborate tools, online tools that I'm showing today. You can change font size just immediately like that. Um, so I really, really like all of those, depending on what you need. If you're on the fly, you just need to change up the vocab or see the highlighting, like the basics that we saw in um, Rewordify, that might be what you need. But I would love to uh, hear your comments when you've tried these or let me know how you've used them because I like to share that with other teachers. Or if you have any questions, please let me know. But I hope you use these online tools to help your students um, make reading nonfiction text a little bit easier for them. Finished here with my information contacting me. If you have any questions or you want some help setting these up, please don't hesitate to call me. Have a great week.